Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on developing a classified website using PHP's one of the widely used framework Laravel. In my last video, I completed the functionality of uh, designing this navigation menu and in this video I will create controllers, models and then I will migrate those models to create all the tables which are required for us in our a classified website okay so we want a table to store the advertisement details we want a table to store this main categories tables and i am also storing these icons inside my database tables and from the tables only i am fetching these icons so i need an icon table and i also need states table city table and subcategory table okay so because inside each and every category i have subcategories as well because if you go to post add and when you click on any category here you need to select any of the subcategories okay so apart from creating different table to store the categories i also need a different tables to store the subcategories okay so now in this video we will see how to create all those controllers and uh, models and then we will directly migrate them okay so we, we are not uh, going to create uh, tables in our database in our php my admin we will create tables in uh, we will create all the tables for our ad zone database using command prompt okay so now let's start okay so we need a main category controller first okay so let me just open my editor okay let me just close it okay okay so inside this all the controllers will get created and you will see all the models inside here okay right now i have only one model okay so now let me just create a controller first okay i need a controller with a name as main category controller okay so for first we need to go to our c drive and then zamp cd ht rocks and then cd add zone okay and from here we will create a controller by using command php artisan make main category controller okay and i will hit enter and you will see a controller will get created here okay here do mean one of this okay, one second php artisan make okay i just i didn't mention the controller okay controller okay php artisan make controller and then the name of the controller main category controller okay you'll see a controller gets created okay so now we need to create a model for this main category controller which can in, which will interact with our database okay, so for creating the model also we need to do the same thing but we just need to make some only one changes instead of controller we have to use model here okay php artisan make model and then main category and i will type dash m okay that means i want to create schema for this main category table schema is a design of your table design of the table in the sense how uh, that schema will contain complete detail of your database table of your main category table uh, like uh, how many fields are there inside your main category table what is the name of each and every field and what is the size and what what are the type of each and every field whether a uh, field is of integer whether the field is of character whether the field is of text okay so this schema will contain each and every detail of your table okay so now if you put minus a dash m then it will automatically create a schema for your main category table along with creating a model okay so then later on we can migrate it Im uh, immediately okay so now let me just hit enter and you will notice there is only one model and when i hit enter see there is one more model that's created main category model okay so like this we have to create all the uh, controllers and model okay and the next controller which we'll be going to create is the subcategory controller okay so it will get it will take some time
okay now let me just call the same command now i want sub category controller to create okay sub category controller yes okay, now i will hit enter then you will see sub category controller gets created and the way i had done with the, in the previous case and then i just need to change it here as sub category okay it will create a sub category okay let me just first take you here okay so here this is my project add zone and i will come to my database and migrations okay so right now you can see sub category model is not created and a migration file is also not created or a schema file is not created okay so for this for sub category okay so when i hit enter you will see both the files will get created okay see sub category also create it's created and sub categories schema uh, file also gets created okay now i will create one more controller with the name as state controller okay i will just press up key from the keyboard uh, yes now i will hit enter okay state controller gets created and i will create a schema for this schema is states states okay schema also get created and now i will create one more controller which is city controller okay city controller okay and i will create a schema for this city controller as city okay next okay so i will create two more models for icons and advertisement okay here advertisement model and one more model which is the last model is icon model okay icons model okay so now we have created all our tables schema okay we have created only the schema but if i come to my database here if i refresh the database you you will see tables didn't get created because right now we have just created the schema for all those tables so for creating the tables out of those these schemas we need to migrate them so but before migrating we need to first make changes in the schema okay so let me just first come to my main category schema okay i need to mention what type and uh, and how many fields i want okay so i will just copy this okay first field i want is the id and the second field i want is the main category okay main category okay but here here and this main category will be of type string okay yeah only these two fields i want inside my main categories table okay and then next go to subcategory inside the subcategory i'll just copy and i will paste it here i want subcategory okay and this one is also string subcategory okay yeah for this also i need one more field which is of type integer and this is main category right okay now the next one is states table okay we need to make changes in the state table for state table we need two fields one is id and the second one is state name and this will be of type string state name okay now the next one is city table for this city i want three fields one field is i already have it and then the second field is city name and this will be of type string city name okay and table and the third one is of type integer 
and this is state id state id okay save it and now the next one is icons for icons also i need three fields and this one is of type string icons okay and then next one is category id this will have type integer category id okay save it and now the last one is advertisement and here i want first field is id and the second field is main category id integer main category id and the second one is subcategory id subcategory id and the fourth one is product name product name will be of type string and next one is year of purchase year of purchase year of purchase is of type integer and the next one is expected selling price expected selling price is also integer and then the next one is name okay owner name and this will of type string name and then the third one and the next one is it's also of the type string which is mobile and then next one is email and then state okay no. this one is also string state and then last one is city and yes finally we have photos need to store the photos as well for that i will take the text data type okay so we have main category id of integer subcategory integer product name and then year of purchase ex expected selling price name mobile email state city photos okay now here let me come here to icons icons string and then category id integer okay okay and then next is uh, cities id city name state id string okay yeah that's all okay so now next here this one is next is states okay id state name string okay and then subcategory id subcategory main category id id okay next we have main category okay yeah so we have we have completed making all the different types of fields for each and every schema table okay so now we need to migrate all this schema so that we can create we can generate tables inside our php my admin okay here okay so right now we have only three tables okay so now for creating for generating tables from these schemas from the schemas we need to run command php artisan migrate okay hp artisan migrate okay so now let me just hit enter okay base table or view already exist uh, table main categories already exist okay so now let us see what is that uh, okay let me just first check the env file inside env file okay here uh, we have database okay we have to change the database name as add zone okay and username is root and i have not set any password okay now let's just save it and now let me just execute the same command once again you will see now it has migrated all the tables and now when i go to my php my admin and refresh the page you will see all the tables gets created okay and fields all the fields gets created okay by just executing the command php artisan migrate 
okay, icons okay, and then main categories okay so like this we can create controllers models and uh, uh, schema for each and every model and uh, we can quickly migrate this schema to generate tables inside our MySQL database okay so this is everything about uh, creating controllers creating models and executing the schema okay so in this video we have learned how to create all these things uh, like uh, creating controller and generating schema and then uh, creating the tables okay we have created all the tables which are required for building our classified website okay so uh, that's all for this video guys i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching